Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. First video from London. I'm jet lagged, I'm tired, but we gotta talk about the World Cup mode and foot leaks that have been dropped on Twitter earlier today. This is really, really important for how I think the market is gonna be looked at and how we're gonna be thinking of the market in the coming weeks leading i mean it's november now guys and we are not that far away from the world cup in general and all of that related content in fifa so of course we've, we've seen world cup mode market crashes in the past that's why we need to talk about this stuff today because there's a ton of new information it's going to impact the market a lot so drop a like if you're excited for the video and of course subscribe if you are new let's get right into the business that we have to attend to here and that is this leak from foot sheriff saying that there will be no world cup mode inside of fifa ultimate team there will be special cards and themed content like a promo but no mode and i'm going to stop there before we keep reading because this tweet is like there's a lot in it but that first part there's no world cup mode that relates to fifa ultimate team of course if you remember back to fifa 18 you remember that we had the world cup mode and the FIFA World Cup Ultimate Team, as you can see in this little picture here, I'm sure a lot of you guys remember the do 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 that Jason Derulo song is you would go into the FIFA World Cup mode and you had cards like this, right? Like a 94 Mbappe, Ronaldo, like it was pretty easy to get really insane teams and grind. There was like Icon SBCs, there was upgrade packs. Every time you opened a pack inside of the World Cup mode, you got a pack in the actual foot mode as well, like a 7.5 or a 5k pack. So that's what Foot Sheriff is meaning with this tweet right here. There's no foot related World Cup mode, which honestly, I'm not that surprised at because if you think about it, where we are at right now in this game, we are just at a place where it would be way too early, in my opinion, for EA to drop something crazy like a World Cup foot mode and to pull all of our attention away from what's going on um, in the menus and like disrupting the normal FIFA Ultimate Team cycle. That's why I'm not surprised by this, but of course I was kind of hoping for that because that World Cup mode inside of foot, like that correlation was pretty nice. It was cool, it was fun, right? So we're not gonna have that, but we're still gonna have a lot of promos and a lot of content, which we are gonna talk more about in these leaks. Now, let's get to the second part of that tweet that is very interesting. So no World Cup mode inside of foot, but we will receive time limited cards from the players in the World Cup and we will use them to do objectives and SBCs based on the World Cup, but time limited. That's what he talks about here in response to his own tweet, which is very, very interesting. Read this. Time limited players will be added to your account depending on the SBCs or objectives you complete, and they'll be removed from your club after the World Cup season, starting on 11-11, is over. All themed cards, heroes, stars, etc., are not limited and will continue in. So, like, you know, the, the icon that we're going to have for the World Cup, the, the World Cup icons and heroes, like the Yaga Tore Marvel, like that crazy stuff that we saw earlier this summer, like that will stay, but there's going to be time limited cards. And, like, that's crazy. Th think about it. We've never had cards that would, like, disappear from your ultimate team. Like, that's kind of what he's saying. He's saying they're going to be added to your account and then they're going to be removed after the world cup season is over like imagine if you did an objective or like right now what's the objective that we had for this out of the position promo right we have the uh is it hudson adoy left wing back for uh leverkusen it takes me ages to scroll over there because i'm on ps4 use the ps5 menus now i know what you guys go through on ps4 yeah we have hudson adoy left wing back right so imagine you did this objective and let's just again imagine that it was related to the world cup maybe it upgrades maybe it doesn't but then it goes away that's that's a new one and that's different and that's weird i mean think about it every single year we go through fifa and we always expect to keep the cards and have nothing take them away from us um except for if we turn them into an sbc or something like that now there's an opportunity for these cards to be taken away from us as time limited cards that's kind of interesting. So I'm really curious to see what more detail we get along with this, um, especially with the whole World Cup season, which he says starts 11-11, which I think if you go into Ultimate Team, there's a bit of a gap here because if you take a look at the season in the top right, my camera's probably uh, blocking it. But if I go into objectives, there's like eight days left in this current season. That's gonna take us to November 9th. So I'm, I'm really curious on how that's gonna work. If he says it's supposed to start on the 7th, but this is really kind of taking us until the 9th of November, as you can see right on the, on the left, eight days, 17 hours from when I'm recording this video. So that would take us to 
yeah, the ninth. So I don't know how that's working out. Again, that's just one of the little details that we don't exactly know how it's going to end up working out. But this is all really big information and it's kind of crazy to wrap our minds around as well. But of course, this is not the end of the story with World Cup content and this being not a part of the game doesn't necessarily make this whole thing an L because of course, like we've seen, we've seen all of the World Cup player, icon, path to glory, star, swap token, World Cup heroes, World Cup team of the tournament, road to the World Cup, like there's so many. Look at all these promo cards that have been added, right? Uh, and then Foot Scoreboard also says that they've got a walkout animation data for a lot of these too, which means, you know, they're gonna be cards that are gonna be used. So like, th look how many different card designs and how many different types of promo cards that we have coming to the World Cup mode. So I think I'm okay with not actually having a separate World Cup foot mode like we did in FIFA 18, if we're gonna have all this content, which I would imagine, I don't know what promo is gonna be this Friday, but I would have to imagine that maybe Road to the World Cup or you know maybe Path to Glory starts pretty soon. It almost feels like it would have to be based on the time frame that we are in right now, getting very, very close to the World Cup. So that's kind of the biggest news in terms of World Cup mode is that we're not gonna have these separate World Cup mode cards, but we're still gonna have a lot of content in FIFA to go along with that. Now, along with that content, you see one of the things in here is a World Cup swap token. That's another leak that we have to talk about today. Foot Sheriff's talking about World Cup swaps. He says it also launches on November 11th. So again, the dates here might be a day or two off. I really don't know what's gonna go on with this. He says, as always, you will be able to redeem permanent pack content and also special player items. So it sounds like World Cup swaps is like just gonna be our first swaps program of the year. He says, everyone gets a free token on the first day. Most of them will be available via objectives. Now, the other thing I wanna look at, if we take a look, um back on the game i want to look at that swaps token looking car design that is in the store maybe you guys have seen this if you go search quality there's a special item there that looks too boring to me to be like a world cup swaps token but who knows um because this has been in the store for a hot minute and it does look like some sort of swap token it's not the fgs token right because the fgs token looks completely different we know that it's there but this special item token maybe that is our world cup swaps I don't know, maybe it's a placeholder for the World Cup swaps. We'll just have to see. But it is, I guess, confirmed now that we have some official leaks on that with this tweet that he has put out here. So a lot more information to come, I do believe, but that would that would mean that we are less than a week and a half away from our first swaps program and all of this content starting on the game, right? So that's gonna mean big things for the market as well. And again, if we start to have leaks that a World Cup path to glory, that a World Cup um what's the other one in here road to the world cup those would be the ones that i feel like could be their earlier promos inside of like uh, getting towards the world cup like if we start to get leaks for that stuff then i would get a little bit more worried for the market because people are going to think world cup world cup mode they're going to think market crash and it may not be for that this year but i still think the market will end up dropping off some as we get closer to the these big promos just because the world cup content looks like it's going to be absolutely spectacular and change all of our ultimate teams because of how much content we're looking at. So the other thing is, probably this is gonna be live by the time you're watching this video or, or close to it, but there's an official FIFA World Cup trailer that is drop dropping today on Tuesday. I don't exactly know what this is gonna have in it, but from what other trailers we've seen at the beginning of this year, uh, at the start of FIFA 23, I'm not envisioning a ton of information in here that we would be able to look at and be like, oh my goodness, this looks super insane, nothing that we really knew. So I'm not expecting to be surprised by anything in this today, but I guess uh, check this out as well and maybe there'll be some, you know, some additives to the story of all that has been kind of leaked and discovered and talked about today. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on with the leaks right now in this game is it's, it's kind of crazy because we're really on the doorstep of World Cup mode stuff. We really are, and that's why I wanted to talk about it so much today. I'm not saying the market's gonna drop at all today. Some of the players that I bought yesterday on stream have rebounded back up. Cordoba, we bought at 369. He went all the way back to 400. I still have some Badellas. I still have a couple Anthony. 
Um, I still have one trail right left. So I'm still just kind of finishing off these flips. I didn't really try to trade last night when I was on the airplane or, or flying or anything uh, like that. But today, this is gonna be my first ever actual 6 p.m. content, as long as EA don't mess it up, by the way. Remember yesterday they dropped 5 p.m. content. Hopefully today it's at 6 p.m. Uh, but this video should go live before 6 p.m. So uh, really today, what I'd be worried about for content is the away from marquee matchups because Again, last week we talked it up big and we we're like, hey guys, they're gonna drop you away from marquee matchups. It's gonna bring supply to the market. And it never dropped. And this week for UCL match day six with, uh, especially for my team, Tottenham Hotspur, who I'm very excited to watch the game tonight uh, and hopefully see them go through. It's a, it's a big game. And I think that EA would be remiss if they didn't uh, drop a UEFA MM tonight to kind of build the hype. We don't really have anything else that is leaked at the moment. And I'm going to slowly do a PS4 uh, version of one of these upgrade packs. Wow, man. These these menus are so slow. It's ridiculous, man. Oh, my gosh. It might be my connection, too. Who knows? We'll see how long it takes for this video to upload. But let me put one rare in here. Uh, Itakura. There we go. Come on. All right. Now, how long is it going to take me to open the pack? That's also going to be a question we have to ask. All right, submit squad, let's do this. But again, yeah, really other than UEFA marquee matchups today, I don't expect too much. Will we get the 80 plus team of the week SBC as well? We had the 85 plus yesterday, a little bit of a surprise, not that big of a surprise, but could we get the 80 plus as well today? That'd be very, very interesting. And actually, as I say that, I wanna take a look at fodder before we end off this video, but here we go. 80 plus rated rare team of the week. Come on, EA Sports. No boards. All right. No London pack look for TFA. Malinowski. Nice. Okay. Uh, I want to look at SBC fodder really fast because I know that those cards were in big question yesterday. There was a lot of panic selling besides 85s. Uh, fodder was panic sold a lot. What are we looking at right now? 85s are Thum and W. So if you waited to sell these until today on Tuesday, you're feeling good because that's what we talked about yesterday. They were, they were going for like 10,000 coins right away. We're like, hey guys, if you hold off, we think you're gonna be able to end up selling these for more later on. And that is exactly what they have done today. They've gone up even further. So if we do get UA from Marquee matchups, these would probably drop. 86 or 13, if you got those yesterday on bid, W. And I think your higher tier fodder is just holding its price now after, again, a little bit of panic selling yesterday. But we'll have to see if EA drop anything special today or throughout the rest of this week. Be on the lookout for La Liga Player of the Month leaks because Valverde or Lewandowski Whoever could potentially win that, that would be a very high tier value SBC that a lot of people might do. So we'll talk about that and of course everything that happens today on FIFA um, in a normal upload uh, tomorrow on Wednesday. But I wanted to get this one out. Might not have a cool thumbnail for it. Might just have to throw something out there. Uh, but I just want to get this video out because I thought that information about the whole World Cup mode and those leaks needed to be talked about. And we're going to continue to discuss that later in the future. But for right now, uh, that's pretty big news. So I wanted to cover that a little bit in today's video. So if you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant from London. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.